Okay, so we are in the editorial section of our content marketing master document, and this video is going to be noticeably shorter than the others. Um, you know, the point of the editorial is to um, keep a real time uh, pulse on what content is going to be published in the upcoming weeks and months. Um, you can plan it out as far as you want, but typically what I do is when I've published a piece of content, it uh, gets removed uh, from the editorial section and then obviously input it into uh, published stories for ready for promotion. Um, so some things to note, you know, publish date, you know, keep this consecutive. Uh, obviously you have the article title, the status, who's writing it, where the location is, because it could be other places than your blog. Um, you know, if you're writing a piece of content um, for a third party system like Medium or Quora, you know, that's a, a possibility. Uh, persona and the target keyword. You know, it's just to sort of give you an idea um, what the status of things are, what the published date is. And so uh, you can keep you have an idea about what um, you know the state of your content is and what uh, you know the future holds. Um, one thing to note, you know, my company, uh, we actually have a dedicated initiative management system, and we organize by playbooks. And one of those playbooks is content marketing. And so um, in content marketing, you know, you have a dedicated sandbox for all the uh, marketing, you know, content marketing initiatives that you want to create. So if I click one of these. Then I can set the owner, status, KPI, start and end date, um, see some playbook details. So obviously reference the articles, publish platform. So get you know all the stuff that I sort of accomplish here, but a few other levels of interactivity you know that you might not get in the other uh, system. Not necessarily you know uh, something that you completely need, but if you like, you can create tasks to assign to individual team members um, and comment on a. a individual pieces of content to sort of get feedback uh, from all the other individuals who might be involved with it and uh, uh, determine outcomes, whether or not they were sort of successful or what you learned from it. So you can improve over time. So, you know, not something that, uh, you know, in terms of level of interactivity in organization that you can completely get from this, but if you are looking for something a little bit more advanced, um, then uh, you know, just ha you know, know that you have that op option to use that.